By definition, vacuum is pressure that is lower than the existing atmospheric pressure. The opposite, air pressure, is anything above atmospheric pressure. Like air pressure, vacuum can be used to cause a mechanical device to perform work. Vacuum control devices are common in vehicles with an internal combustion engine for one primary reason. It's always available. When an engine is running, vacuum is created in the intake manifold after the throttle plates, and it can be easily tapped into. The most recognized vacuum device is a vacuum-assisted brake booster, which gives us the power in power brakes. Over the years, vacuum has been used for many things, including wiper systems and door locks, but the most common uses today are ignition distributor advance, climate control motors, and emission system control devices. The drawback to vacuum is it varies depending on the position of the throttle plates, and during wide open throttle, all engine vacuum is lost. For this reason, vacuum reservoirs are installed to store additional vacuum during engine operation when available vacuum drops off. Vacuum reservoirs come in many shapes, but they are typically located in the engine compartment and easily identified by a supply vacuum line with a check valve leading from the engine and a vacuum feed line exiting the reservoir for other accessories. These reservoirs primarily benefit climate control systems and vacuum brake boosters store their own vacuum, so in the case of an engine stall, there is enough to safely stop the vehicle. One of the most common symptoms indicating a loss of reserve vacuum is a climate control system that changes to defrost under a heavy acceleration, like when you're going up a hill, and then returns to the previous outlet setting afterward. While a failed reservoir itself is uncommon, failure of the supply line is not, and most of these problems can easily be fixed with vacuum line and hose that you keep in stock on a regular basis. The next time a customer asks about a problem that sounds similar to this, or if they simply want to know the purpose of the canister under the hood, now you can explain how it all works. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.